back here for part two of the handicap division title match from the SoCal regular season finale here at Winnetka. Top seed Jada Macias has dominated this tournament, but he's got a tough customer in Ezeka de Guzman, and it's de Guzman that gets the pins. He's getting 28 in this match. Uh, also trails by quite a bit in this match by 21 right now. That Brooklyn strike will help in the fifth frame. So again, Little guy here, Jaden's got a win by 28 to tie, 29 to win, but he already leads by 21. Jaden, 11 years old from a bowling family, and he's standing way to the right on that cheetah pattern. I got to adjust the camera just to get him back in the shot here. He's throwing plastic, I believe. Yeah, tugs that one a little bit. Praying for the Brooklyn, he doesn't quite get it. Very similar to the scratch, leader Daniel Hong led after 5 at plus 50, led after 8 at plus 105, the only bowler in triple digits today in handicap, because that cheetah can be brutal on him. He was going to make the invitational on points, but the top four sealed it. Ezekiel needed to make the top four to get in the invite, he did so. So did Tyler Rose to my left, Nathan Harnum fighting for all conference bowler of the year. Your other handicap finalists. Cross lane at the 10 pin. Nice form, no problem. Did you figure out to go live? Oh, looks like you did. You have to teach me one of these days. Saturday night at a bowling alley, we got some runners. <laughs> Big thanks again to Daniel and the whole team here at Winnetka for having us. 102 bowlers today. 55 in handicaps. Jaden's topped a large field to get this far. Can he finish it off? Daniel bowled well and was unable to. Jaden looking to avoid the same fate. Better shot there. Perfect shot there. 10 in the pit for Jaden. And he's only had one open through six frames. Continues to lead by that 21 pin margin. Zeke can do something about it though as he's got a strike working coming up here in the sixth frame. Battle of the two-handers, as it often is, and these days, look out! I can't catch that. You guys keep watching. I'm gonna have to keep an eye on the Saturday night crowd. <laughs> I'm gonna move things down here. We got some runners. We got open play to the right. We got open play to the left. <laughs> the last two serious human beings in this building right now are this guy and that guy. You know, we appreciate even being around on a Saturday evening. It's sometimes a challenge to get those. Well, we got it. We got a guard. We got our best bodyguard in the business right now. Sean's ready to go. Ezekiel missed that spare, by the way, in the six. That's hurtful for him. Another nine count. Got to make these nines, even at the lower average that, that De Guzman is at. The nine counts are what you got to make. So, yes, I'm on my dang tripod. But first things first, I got to make sure. Uh, Little dude doesn't crash into a less little dude. Zeke is 15. Only his uh, third or fourth bowling tournament period for him. So as green as they come, but he'll be playing for a thousand bucks tomorrow. And does get that nine spare. Jaden looking for his first JBT win, but he's no stranger to competition, of course. Papa Mikey and he and Jaden himself has three JAT uh, prep division titles. So he's got experience in this scenario, as you can probably tell by just his mannerisms and actions. A comfortable environment for him, and gets that ball way out there on the cheetah. He's being taught right. He's standing further right than he's laying it down, and that way it keeps your shoulders closed, so it makes it much harder to gutter even though you're playing that one-two board and it makes, makes you know, you know, oh, but, but really the ball line makes it way less likely. That, uh, the, 
pros and cons to everything. The con to that is it makes a tug ball a little more likely. And this is a traditional cheetah where if you miss the left enough, you're not even going to touch the head pin. Having said all that, that is now his sixth mark in seven frames. As he leads by 33, and again, he's only got to make up 28. So, still not within a mark here. Anybody's been. Come down to the wire here. I didn't even realize he had the ball in his head. <laughs> Almost could see, there's the left that I was talking about, and that will whip the head pin to the left, and gets really fortunate to only leave the uh, one three in that spot. Rocking the JBT Season 27 shirts from I Am Bowling, another one of our title sponsors. He will make a nice chunk of the $5,000 offered by I Am for bowlers wearing shirts just like that in our uh, title matches, so good for him. Good for I Am. Bowler of the Year jerseys coming up for all those people, too. They make our 300 and 800 jerseys. Lots of great stuff. That's a great job of the spare there. Make it seven spares in eight frames. That's the difference in the match. Staying clean. Well, let's see what Zeke can do up with. Like I said, where Jaden has the experience, this is completely new for this guy. Yeah, you wouldn't know it by that, as that was beautiful. See, we've gotten his legs back under them there. That's his second strike of the match. The next one would give him the lead. Obviously practicing a ton to get to where he's at right now. That's what we want. Get motivated in the game. Let their work hard and reap the dividends. Ooh, way left. Does not get away with it as much as Jaden. They reel up just the one three. He's got some company here. Adding the six and the eight for that makes it much tougher. Especially that back eight then. Difficult spare in a tight spot. He'll be fall behind by more than a mark and have an open boy in the tenth. He doesn't find a way to convert this. Many, many ways to miss that, unfortunately. He found one of them and a big opportunity here for Jaden here to wrap this up in the night. Dress it out there. Oh, man, what a good shot. It is so hard. The more you get under pressure to trust that ball out in the one-two board for these players. So utterly fearless. I'm impressed either way. Extend the lead with the spare. Switch his balls here. Well, hooks more and uh, absolutely knows what he's doing. Well done. One frame away. DeWitt uh, leads in the match, counting the handicap by 15. And the best De Guzman can do is 159 plus his 28 for 187. Mark plus count will win it for Jaden. Shot. Not the easiest spare, not the hardest spare. Spare eight. Spare eight. With the plastic, I definitely think that's the right idea. At the three six. No, no, no! Does not have it. Wow, whiffs it over at the end. That gives him 179. 
believe it or not, that still forces the double, I believe. 128 pins is the difference. So it's a 157 in theory that Big Usman has, that's his scoreboard. Ezekiel still has the double to win. That is a tall task. First ball's good though. Does not get the double. And by the skin of his 10th frame teeth, this little man is going to win. We're used to little guys winning around here, right? I believe nine years old is the youngest champion that we had this year. Of course, five years old, our youngest winner ever. He gets mistaken for being younger than he really is at 11. But, uh... Just like Pop, don't let the smaller size catch you off guard. He's a player and he's a champ. Great job out of both of these players. We'll see them both in the Invitational tomorrow, but it's Jaden Macias getting that win. Great stuff. We'll do it all over again tomorrow.